An intensive pig rearing system allows for more monitoring of animals to ensure minimum fatalities and increase in productivity. This method of pig farming also prevents pigs from getting dirty, which can make them look unattractive to customers. Most pig farmers in the northern region largely practice outdoor method of pig rearing that allows the pigs to stray outside where they are sometimes a nuisance. Experts say the system exposes the animal to infection and they can carry diseases that are transferable to humans, hence the need to provide confined and hygienic environment for pigs. The head of Animal Research Institute at Nyangwala, Dr. Franklin Avonyo, urged farmers to rear pigs intensively. Most of those pigs are harboring tapeworms. And tapeworm is easily transferable to human beings if you consume that pork. But then, if you get the opportunity to taste pork, which has been properly raised under confined condition, see that pork tastes very good. And so, because of that, scientists will want to encourage farmers to keep their pigs intensively. When you keep them intensively, then you can get a high demand. And also, one advantage of keeping them intensively is that the incidence of tapeworm is curtailed. You don't have the problem with tapeworms. And then the other one is also the incidence of African swine fever, which we don't have a cure for at the moment. It's also sharply reduced. He further revealed that pigs in pens are hygienic to breed. If you house it properly, you have a, a wallow, water, where the, when the pig is hot, it can go and lie in the water, and then you have a feeding place. The pig demarcates a different area for defecation, for uh, putting its feces. So the pig actually can be said to be one of the neatest animals, provided you, the producer, you know what to provide for it. Dr. Vonyo urged pig farmers in the northern region to link up with Kumasi market in the sale of their pigs. The huge market for pig consumption in Kumasi. So if the northern sector is able to link effectively with that market in Kumasi, some people come from Kumasi to buy pigs from the north and send to Kumasi. So it's a matter of strengthening that linkage. If the producers in the north see that they are short of a market somewhere, with a little capacity building, they'll be able to increase production. Dr. Avonio appealed to farmers to consult the research station or the veterinary services if they notice unusual changes in their pigs. From Nyangbala, Noanash, Fovasawa News.